Hi friends, it's Valerie. Welcome back to my channel and welcome back to this week's What's For Dinner. If you are new here, I'd love if you would hit that subscribe button and join my YouTube family. And don't forget to leave a like or a comment down below because it really does help my channel. Um, this week I've got five meals for you and then also just one quick fast food insight there that you can see. So six things you'll see me throughout the week. Um, let's just get to these meals. I've made this recipe before in a video, but um, it's been a long time, so I'm going to show it again because it's really, really good and pretty easy. So I'm taking one pound of ground beef. Mine's still a little bit frozen, so I'm just kind of breaking that up, and I'm going to go ahead and just let that brown. And once I get a nice brown layer on, like, crust on the bottom of that, I'm going to start breaking that up. Um, I just use my meat chopping tool, and I break that up the way I like it because I, I don't like big chunks of meat. And then... Um, I'll go ahead and let that like cook all the pink out and then I'm gonna drain my grease and I also went ahead and heavily salted some boiling water and I added in a 16 ounce box of linguine noodles and I'm just gonna cook that to package directions to al dente now we're gonna mix together the sauce I combined a half a cup of beef broth and one quarter cup of brown sugar with uh, six tablespoons or so of poison sauce. I'm also going to go ahead and add in some black pepper. This is a half a teaspoon of black pepper as well as a half a teaspoon of red pepper flakes and then one half a cup of soy sauce. It calls for some minced ginger, four teaspoons. I just kind of eyed that and six cloves of garlic. Again, I'm just eyeing the amount on that. Then just go ahead and mix that all together. And this is what we're going to go ahead and pour over our beef. So I went ahead and stirred this pretty well because I wanted to come up, like let that brown sugar start to dissolve. And now I'm adding it into the beef and I'm just going to go ahead and stir that all together. Let that kind of like just simmer and uh, for a few minutes to allow like the ground beef to get some of that flavor from the sauce. Then I'm taking my drained noodles and I'm adding those into the pan. I added half at first just to kind of like mix them in, make it a little easier to mix some of that together, get those noodles nice and coated, then I'll add the other half of the noodles in and do the same thing and get them all nice and coated. With this, your um, ground beef does kind of fall to the bottom of the pan, so I just kind of like scoop that as I go. And I made some air fried zucchini. I thought I need a vegetable with this. I've done like throwing vegetables in the process with the meat and the noodles. I've done like frozen broccoli and added them in there. And it, I love it that way. But this time I had some zucchini to use up. So I thought that will make a good addition as well. And this meal is so delicious. We've had this many times before and it's always a hit with us. On this night, I was craving this sandwich that's from Denny's, and it's like the Super Bird, I think is what it's called. And I was just kind of trying to recreate that for the most part. So I'm taking some just turkey lunch meat, just whatever I had lying around, which is a different couple different types of turkey. And I'm just kind of going to place that to warm up in this pan here. I sprayed it with a little bit of oil on the bottom of the pan. And some of these bigger slices are perfect because I'm gonna be using like a longer sourdough bread. So they're gonna be like perfect to just stack on top of each other and keep in that shape. Uh, so I'm just making two piles there because I'm gonna be making two of these sandwiches. I'm also taking some of this Havarti cheese and I'm adding that on top of that. Again, this is all gonna be like to preference however much cheese meat you want. Um, I'm loading up on that cheese there because I want two slices. I love Havarti and turkey. And then I'm taking this sourdough bread. I used mayonnaise. You can use butter or mayonnaise, whatever you prefer. And I'm, I've been doing this thing where I've liked to crisp up both sides. So I put the mayonnaise on both sides of the bread. I'm letting one side toast up. Then I'm going to let that other side toast up. And at this point, and now I'll add on that turkey and melted cheese. Um, I'm adding on the other turkey as well on top of the cheese so it can kind of like stay together. That cheese is going to like adhere to that uh, extra turkey meat there. And I'm leaving this open face for now because I will be adding avocado and I don't want hot avocado though. So, But there you see I went ahead and just added that on there. Then I'll just close that up. And I just served this with some of the Red Robin frozen fries and I love those. And this was so, so delicious. It really did remind me of the Superbird from Denny's, although it didn't include the bacon because I didn't have any, but it was really, really good. 
I went ahead and put my instant pot on saute mode and I'm adding in a pound of ground beef to that. I was supposed to put a tab of butter first and then the ground beef, um, but I forgot. So I never really do that, but I figured for the sake of the recipe, I would still add in the butter and then I'm kind of just like scraping up my meat off the bottom there. It did stick a little bit and then I'm just breaking that up with my meat chopping tool and I'm going to go ahead and let that brown. If you need to remove some grease, now's the point to go ahead and do that. Um, and then the recipe calls for a 10.5 ounce can of condensed chicken broth. Now I didn't have that, but I just used extra of the better than bouillon in some water, 10.5 ounces worth. And then to that I added two and a half cups milk, a half, one and a half teaspoon of salt, one and a half teaspoon of pepper, two teaspoons each of onion powder and garlic powder. Then go ahead and give that all a good start to combine all those ingredients very well. Next, I'm adding in two cups of long grain white rice, and I'm just pressing that down into the liquid. You want to make sure that's nice and covered. And then on top of that, it calls for a 10.75 ounce can of condensed tomato soup. I actually had these little cans, so I just measured out 10.75 ounces. Poured that on top, and then I'm taking a can of corn. It calls for a smaller can of corn than this, an 8.75 ounce, but I just used the whole, like, I think it's a 14 to 15 ounce can of corn. I know we love corn, so it'd be no problem to add the extra corn to that. Then place your lid on and we're going to cook that on high pressure for 7 minutes and when it's done we're going to do a quick release of the steam and I'm just giving that a quick stir. It looked liquidy on top and that kind of worried me. This is my first time making this but once I stirred it together it was no problem at all and then I'm adding in, um, it calls for 2 cups of shredded mozzarella cheddar blend. I didn't have the blend so I just put a cup of cheddar and a cup of mozzarella in there and I'm just eyeing that it's probably a little more than what it calls for but we do love our cheese so it's no problem for me and I'm just stirring that together to kind of get that cheese in there and let that melt um, I'm placing the lid on for a few minutes that will help it to melt keep the heat in there and then I'll give it another good stir as you can see it's very cheesy it probably was more than a cup each that I added in there not too much more but it probably was extra and um, this doesn't look the most like the most appetizing meal ever but this was really really good I'm gonna say it was one of my top uh, favorite like throw together instant pot meals and uh, I just served that with a like Caesar salad kit on this night, we just had Carl's Jr. I have really been craving their burgers because they have like those flame broiled patties and they're so, so good and I could seriously eat them like way too often. But of course, I have to cook actual meals, but they have a great deal with this whole combo for only $5.99, which is so good. This is another one of those meals I've made for y'all before, but it's been a long time and we haven't had it in a while. I needed something quick and easy. So I take a can of enchilada sauce, like the big can, I add it to a pan and I like to reduce my sauce down. Now this is a step you can totally skip, but I do let that simmer and reduce a little bit. I like it thicker. And I'm just taking some frozen burritos from my freezer I needed to use up. These are individuals. Use whatever kind you like. These are just bean and cheese. Like I said, I just want to use them up from my freezer and this was a great way to do that. So I just place those on the bottom of a 9 by 13 baking dish. I pour that enchilada sauce on top of them. You could also use red sauce as well. I just really like green sauce. And yeah, just pour that out, smooth it out if you need to. Taking a small can of green chilies and I'm pouring those on top and I'll spread those out as best I can as well. And I'm also adding a small can of sliced olives to the top of that. I did go ahead and drain those. I'm kind of evenly just spreading those across the top. You can add any other toppings you like to this as well. I like sauteed onions sometimes. Um, then I'm topping that with some cheese. No real measurements here. I will link a... Um, similar recipe to this that is pretty much identical to what I'm doing here. Um, I don't think they give measurements on the cheese either. That's just one of those things I feel like you measure with your heart, you measure how you see, and I'm using Mexican blend and a cheddar jack blend. Um, for sides, I'm going to keep it simple as well since this whole meal is simple and just do a Caesar salad kit and some of the Uncle Ben's rice, um, pilaf rice. And there's that out of the oven. I browned it and I browned it a little too much, but it thankfully did not actually burn. And um, I put some sour cream on top of that. And this is just a quick, easy, and delicious meal. 
good way to use up some freezer burritos as well. On this night, I was craving some poke bowls. Um, I just put together some ingredients, avocado. I wanted to do kind of like the makings of a Philadelphia roll. So I, I cubed up some cream cheese and cucumber. I combined some shredded crab meat with some mayo and sriracha. Um, I have a little bit of like a seaweed salad there, pickled ginger, extra sriracha, um, some seaweed snacks, because I always have to have that crunchiness of the seaweed snack. Um, some just soy sauce and then black sesame seeds and then I made some just rice in my instant pot there. I always just do a one-to-one -one ratio for my rice and water and I cook it for about five minutes and I let it naturally release while I'm doing other things no big deal and here it is all assembled this was so delicious and absolutely satisfied that craving that we have for poke bowls on the regular. Thank y'all so much for watching. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and that little bell so you don't miss out on any future videos and I hope you all have a great day.